So today we, or should I say tonight, we're doing a pizza. And I thought I'll come on and show you the ingredients first, give you a few tips. This is going to be a three part video. So, okay, right now we've got oil, we've got sunflower oil that I'm going to be using, we've got the yeast, salt, plain flour, which some people would see in videos, just to let you guys know, they would see people say all-purpose flour, so that actually means plain flour for some of you guys that don't know. As I said, it's going to be a video with tips as well. So I've got sugar. I've got some of these. Um, they're like well, Frank Furters. I've got these. Um, I've got garlic sausages, which is here. I've got pork luncheon meat slices, ham slices, salami. Mature cheese. I love my mature cheese. I don't ever get any other cheese except for mature cheese. The cheese that I use is cathedral one. Sometimes you can get them two in a pack for like a five or something like that. If you're in the UK, that is. Um, I had done some sausages and I've cut them into slices from that of them. So that way I sprinkle that on as well. I've got my grater and I've got a knife for cutting. I am actually going to do a cheese crust pizza. So as you've noticed, guys, it is a meat feast pizza. And I've got this tray, which can't actually even fit in the oven. So if you're like me and you've got problems with the oven or you haven't got a tray or something, I tell you what, see, this, this would be so perfect for pizza, as you can see. See? Perfect for pizza. Say hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> okay, so here's the next step. As I said, if you ain't got it, use this. This is paper um, for baking, and it's non-stick, hence why I thought I could just use this for doing pizza. So what I'm going to actually do, as I said, this tip, so that's another tip for all you guys. But So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a plate and cut round, cut round the pizza instead of this, because this is still way too big to put on pizza, even though I've washed it and everything. You could actually still see the water on it. <laughs> Look, it's still too big, just to show you guys, back out a bit, to actually fit round this. So I won't be using this. I just wanted to show you guys the tray, so this can go back up now. It was just, as I had to leave it out to show you guys the little tips. So if you've got all that, baking trays and whatnot, and you have no other options, turn to this, okay? So I've got two of them. That's one, that's two. And then what I'm going to do is actually use one of the big trays. I mean, big, big, oops. Sorry guys, give me a minute. Man, I think I might have smashed a thing, I don't know. But anyway, I'll check that out after. So look, there we go. Perfect fit. Right, guys? Perfect fit. So I'll be using this to cut out the pastry with. So I shall put that there. So that'll be to cut out the pastry with. I'll be using that. And I've got gloves for when... I'm doing it. Okay, now to tell you the pastry mixture. The pastry mixture is gonna have, you could use virgin olive oil, that is supposed to be the best one, but I've only got this, so I'll be using that oil is oil anyway, majority of the times that is. So, first you're gonna put, as I said, don't do measurements, so sorry guys. You're gonna put some flour, some salt, and some sugar so what i will do i will put the flour about up to halfway let's say halfway and then i will put a spoon of sugar big tablespoon sugar and half a tablespoon of salt that's what i would do and then i'll put 
a spoon, a teaspoon of the yeast in and basically a small spoon of oil and then I'll mix it all in and then put some warm water in as well, warm, make sure it's warm guys so that way it doesn't counteract the yeast. I've never tried it without like with cold water so I don't know what it does you know but you can look that up so I'm not going to tell you guys make up lies <laughs> but so yeah so and make sure you've got a clean surface which I've already wiped down this whole table so that way when you're kneading out the dough it's all nice and clean because you're going to need spring core flour because I'll be doing the dough because you have to leave the dough to rest for sometimes they say a good 24 hours so it rises but I'm gonna leave mine to rise for about half an hour so yeah so you leave that to rise for about half an hour um watch my other video as well because we're gonna do some cinnamon and sugar donuts so that'll be good to look forward to and yeah so that's about it guys so after you finish doing the dough make sure you put it Room temperature, just put it aside so it could just rise nicely, not in the fridge or nothing like that. And yeah, once it rises, you just put out the dough and everything. I'll be showing you guys anyway and showing you guys how to do the cheese crust too. All right then, guys, I shall see you. Bye.